Welcome back to Rachel B. The Healthy We. Today we're going to be using Sharpies to make watercolor nails. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make this marble watercolor with Sharpies. What you'll need is a 91% alcohol, an art brush of your choosing, a piece of foil, Sharpies, the colors are completely up to you, and a little dish to go ahead and put the alcohol in. Let's get started. So with a little bit of alcohol here, I of course did different greens so we can follow along those lines. I'll pull a couple greens out. You're just going to color on the foil like so. And then you're going to take your brush, dip it in the alcohol. I'm going to give it a quick, not too much. And I'm going to start with the darkest color here. I'm just going to mix that alcohol in. See how it picked it up and kind of turned it into a paint? Then you're just going to, I did it on a diagonal. You can do it however you want. Just going to kind of Now if you're doing this on your nail, once it's already on, be careful near the cuticle so you don't flood your cuticle bed and get it on your skin. So once we're kind of happy with what we're looking like, we're going to dip it back in the until I can get most of that color out of the brush. I'm going to grab some more, tap it, and go for my next color. Now the color is going to be as dark or as light as you want, depending upon how much alcohol you place on it. And because this still has a little alcohol, I can even kind of smush it into this other color and meld them together. Like so. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse that out. And I'm going to grab some more alcohol. I'm going to grab my green. You can overlap the colors a little if you want. Especially in this case, this green makes that blue look a little bit more, that blue green look more green. It's kind of a nice variant. And then like I said, if you want to use just a little alcohol, it'll help you kind of mend them into each other because they're still malleable. And when you get it the way you want, all you need to do is apply a top coat. Now make sure you do a nice thick layer so that you don't drag. So if it, you know, make sure it's nice and it's got a little droplet and you float it across enough product to not smush it. And these you can just toss and every time you re-wet it you can get more on it. So if you wanted to do more, you certainly could do that as well. And that is it, simple as that. And you can use any colors you like. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed.